Midazolam is a short-acting benzodiazepine with rapid onset that is commonly used in seizures, anesthesia, and anxiety disorders. In this video, let's find found. What is midazolam? What is midazolam used for? Contraindication. What are the side effects of taking midazolam? How does midazolam work? How to use midazolam? What is midazolam? Midazolam, sold under the brand name First Among Others, is a benzodiazepine medication used for anesthesia and procedural sedation and to treat severe agitation. It induces sleepiness, decreases anxiety, and causes a loss of ability to create new memories. Midazolam was patented in 1974 and came into medical use in 1982. It is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines. Midazolam is available as a generic medication. In many countries, it is a controlled substance. What is midazolam used for? Nasal. For the nasal spray formulation, midazolam is indicated for the acute treatment of intermittent, stereotypic episodes of frequent seizure activity, i.e., seizure clusters, acute repetitive seizures, that are distinct from a patient's usual seizure pattern in patients with epilepsy 12 years of age and older. Intramuscular. For the intramuscular injection formulation, midazolam is indicated for preoperative sedation slash anxiolysis slash amnesia or for treatment of status epilepticus in adults. Oral. Midazolam syrup is indicated for use in pediatrics for sedation, anxiolysis, and amnesia prior to diagnostic, therapeutic or endoscopic procedures or before induction of anesthesia. It is only approved in monitored settings only and not for chronic or home use. In Europe, a buccal formulation of midazolam is also approved for the treatment of prolonged acute convulsive seizures in infants, toddlers, children and adolescents from 3 months to less than 18 years. For infants, between 3 to 6 months of age treatment should be in a hospital setting where monitoring is possible and resuscitation equipment is available. Contraindication Benzodiazepines require special precaution if used in the elderly, during pregnancy, in children, in alcohol or other drug-dependent individuals or those with comorbid psychiatric disorders. Additional caution is required in critically ill patients, as accumulation of midazolam and its active metabolites may occur. Kidney or liver impairments may slow down the elimination of midazolam leading to prolonged and enhanced effects. Contraindications include hypersensitivity, acute narrow-angle glaucoma, shock, hypotension, or head injury. Most are relative contraindications. Side effects Cough, wheezing, trouble breathing, slow heart rate, a light-headed feeling, like you might pass out, tremors, or confusion, agitation, hallucinations, unusual thoughts, or behavior. Pharmacodynamic General effects. Midazolam is a short-acting benzodiazepine central nervous system, CNS, depressant. Pharmacodynamic properties of midazolam and its metabolites, which are similar to those of other benzodiazepine drugs, include sedative, anxiolytic, amnestic, muscle relaxant, as well as hypnotic activities. Benzodiazepines enhance the inhibitory action of the amino acid neurotransmitter gamma-aminobutyric acid, GABA. Receptors for GABA are targeted by many important drugs that affect GABA function and are commonly used in the treatment of anxiety disorder, epilepsy, insomnia, spasticity, and aggressive behavior. Sedation and memory. The onset of sedation after intramuscular administration in adults is 15 minutes, with maximal sedation occurring 30 to 60 minutes after injection. In one study of adults, when tested the following, 73% of the patients who were administered midazolam intramuscularly had no recollection of memory cards shown 30 minutes following drug administration, 40% had no recollection of the memory cards shown 60 minutes after drug administration. Onset time of sedative effects in pediatric patients begins within 5 minutes peaks at 15 to 30 minutes, depending upon the dose administered. In the pediatric population, up to 85% had no memory of pictures shown after receiving intramuscular midazolam, compared to 5% of the placebo control group. 
Sedation in both adult and pediatric patients is reached within 3 to minutes post-intravenous, 4, injection. The time of onset is affected by the dose administered and the simultaneous administration of narcotic premedication. 71, 71%, 71 percent of the adult patients in clinical endoscopy studies had no memory of insertion of the endoscope, 82 percent of them had no memory of withdrawal of the endoscope. Anesthesia induction. When midazolam is administered intravenously, 4, for anesthetic induction, induction of anesthesia occurs in about 1.5 minutes when narcotic premedication has been given and in 2 to 2.5 minutes without narcotic premedication slash other sedative premedication. Impairment in a memory test was observed in 90% of the patients. Mechanism of action. The actions of benzodiazepines such as midazolam are mediated through the inhibitory neurotransmitter gamma-aminobutyric acid, GABA, which is one of the major inhibitory neurotransmitters in the central nervous system. Benzodiazepines increase the activity of GABA, thereby producing a sedative effect, relaxing skeletal muscles, and inducing sleep, anesthesia, and amnesia. Benzodiazepines bind to the benzodiazepine site on GABA receptors which potentiates the effects of GABA by increasing the frequency of chloride channel opening. These receptors have been identified in different body tissues in the heart and skeletal muscle, although mainly appear to be present in the central nervous system. Half-Life Intravenous, six single-dose pharmacokinetic studies involving healthy adults yield an elimination half-life of 1.8 to 6.4 hours, mean of approximately 3 hours. Intramuscular Following IM administration of 10 mg midazolam, the mean, plus or minus SD, elimination half-life of midazolam was 4.2, plus or minus 1.87, hours. Intranasal, following the administration of naazolam in clinical trials, median midazolam and 1-hydroxymidazolam elimination half-lives ranged from 2.1 to 6.2 hours and 2.7 to 7.2 hours, respectively, independent of dose. Oral. The mean elimination half-life of midazolam ranged from 2.2 to 6.8 hours following single oral doses of 0.25, 0.5, and 1 mg per kilogram of midazolam HCl serum. Dose. Preoperative sedation slash anxiolysis with anterograde amnesia. IM, 70 to 80 mcg slash kg, dose range 5 mg, 30 to 60 minutes before surgery. Reduce 50% for chronically ill or geriatric patients. 4. Initial, usually 0.5 to 1 mg given over 2 minutes, not to exceed 2.5 mg per dose, wait 2 to 3 minutes to evaluate sedative effect after each dose adjustment, total dose greater than 5 mg usually not necessary to reach desired sedation, use 30% less midazolam if patient premedited with narcotics or other CNS depressants. Debilitated or chronically ill patients, 1.5 mg 4 initially, may repeat with 1 mg per dose 4 Q2-3 minute PRN, not to exceed cumulative dose of 3.5 mg, peak effect may be delayed in elderly, so increment be smaller and rate of injection slower. Maintenance, 25% of initial effective dose PRN by slow titration. Reduce 30% if premedicated with opiate, 50% in elderly slash chronically ill. Anesthesia. Induction. Less than 55 years without premedication, 300 to 350 mcg slash kg for injection over 20 to 30 seconds. Wait 2 to 3 minutes to evaluate sedative effect after each dose adjustment. May use increments of 25% of initial dose PRN to complete induction. May use up to 0.6 mg per kilogram total dose in resistant cases, but such dosing may prolong recovery. Backslash 55 years without premedication and with no systemic disease, in a patient who is not weak, 300 micrograms per kilogram over 20 to 30 seconds initially, wait 2 to 3 minutes to evaluate sedative effect after each dosement. Backslash 55 years without premedication but presence of systemic disease or weak patient, 200 to 250 mcg slash kg over 20 to 30 seconds usually enough, 0.15 mg per kilogram enough in some cases, wait 2 to 3 minutes to evaluate sedative after each dose adjustment, greater than 55 years with premedication, 
150-350 mcg slash kg for injection over 20 to 30 seconds, wait 2 to 3 minutes to evaluate sedative effect after each dose adjustment, a dose of 250 micrograms per kilogram usually enough to desired effect. Maintenance may administer increments of 25% of induction dose, PRN, when there are signs that anesthetic effects are lightening. Sedation of intubated slash ventilated patients. Load, 10 to 50 mcg slash kg, dose range 0.4 mg, slow for injection or infusion over several minutes, repeat Q5-15 minute PRN. Maintenance, initial, 20 to 100 mcg slash kg slash HR infusion. Titrate up or down 25 to 50% PRN. Status epilepticus. Sizalum, indicated for treatment of status epilepticus in adults. 10 mg IM. Safety advice. Advice and warnings for the use of midazolam during pregnancy. FDA pregnancy category D, positive evidence of risk. That's all the information about midazolam we collected. Thanks for listening. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe for the HeInfo channel if you like this video to update more health information.